Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to pick up uh, a challenge that is not winnable. Uh, I'm just going with conventional weapons and no weapon, uh, no armor upgrade against the Hive. Uh, today should, it's Operation Wolf Strike. It is time to get the first of the three chosen. Uh, this time the hunter out uh, for good. I think this will be comparably to the other two um, enemies a easier mission. I'm wondering though, since we need to kill him multiple times, if I should get more healing with me. Um, we do have a stasis vest and three or four charges here. I could get another med kit for one more charge. That'll reduce our damage output a bit. Mm, but we would get at least a couple of charges up off of it. Not perfect, but I think the fight will take a long time and we can really utilize all of the thing uh, all of the tools that we could get. To our advantage. Got a mimic beacon, got some grenades, generally good uh, vests, the yeah, absolute basic stuff and hopefully our uh, prime team can actually go up against him and defend the honor of uh, Earth. Uh, okay, I think we just skipped the deployment for whatever reason. There you go. All right, let's jump in. Time for us to land. So, you know the drill, guys. We want to have the least possible amount of consumables used in the first few rooms. And I want to keep everything for the end fight. Given that we do have limited damage potential for the actual sarcophagus, we're potentially going to see two, if not three, iterations of the Hunter. So if we play our cards right, we should be fine. Okay, this is sort of dangerous territory because uh, once we go into this room, it's a very open uh, field, could lead to problems. Just tr trying to scout and see where the exit could be located. Wrong planet uh, moves on the one hand side. Uh, we're having Zukuger move on the other hand side. These are the two that uh, can shoot or should be uh, stable uh, with their shooting. Lyrical and Harkbite would go in. No problem, boss. Namri can also take two actions, hence putting her into the middle so that we could use a grenade if needed. We're not going to do anything until next turn. And before I'm opening anything, let me just double check something. Just double checking if we're already running into a pack. Specifically when you're fighting on difficult missions, you want to play clean XCOM, right? And that's what I want to teach on this channel. Now, that's the console. That's another console. I think we're generally good. Doesn't mean that there wouldn't be enemies over here. I was just checking if we could theoretically move in and trigger an entire pack with Bladestorm? The answer is a no. can see that the advanced um, enemy squad size is really starting to kick in like we're Rocking three six shield bearer there, P 
purifier, another shield bearer, four armor each, uh, four armor here. That's a guardian, three armor, three armor. Oh, it's rough, man. That's rough. I think I'm going to use a grenade. Hate to do it, but. Elsewise, this whole thing will be even more difficult to pull off. Now, that's exactly what I want. Shredding almost all of them. Very good. Okay. So, a couple of things here, okay? For starters, we're getting the max. Five, okay. Um, yeah, I do have an idea. Can use a couple of cooldowns, nothing like major. <laughs> Good hit. Good job, Hawkbite. Uh, get some flanking on top of that. That's good. Time for some Reaper action. Um. Look at you! A hey, Shoggoth. Alright. Five to six points of damage. Well, we're not going to stop now, are we? Nice little Reaper focus. Still five to six points of damage. Um, got an idea, we can hit the Shoggoths with that. Starting to deal damage already. Uh, I wanted to deal even more damage. Double Reaper, alright, cool. Well, we're back on track, apparently. Shred the Shoggoth. That worked well, didn't it? Yep, yep, very good. Bit of bracing. Uh, we did have dual shot available thanks to our increased bond, but all of that will be used much later. Love it. Weapon specialist hits for seven. Okay, lead purifier in the house. Going for flanking position. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got a reposition. Okay, fair enough. Mm, yeah, we don't want to cluster up, really. This here looks crazy, standing in the open, but it isn't, uh, mainly because purifiers... Never mind. Um, yeah, th really, never mind. Uh, we're going to end the turn right here, because I really don't want to trigger anything. Um, end turn. We need to regain cooldowns. Uh, we don't have anything hidden yet, so... Precision shot was less damage, but better chances to hit. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'm 
We're just going to take a couple of positions, really. And I will wait uh, four turns until our cooldowns are back up. And we got the good sniper uh, scope, but unfortunately no extended magazine because we are lacking the breakthroughs. That's one of my biggest regrets. I should have gotten the laboratory much earlier and it might be one that actually breaks this campaign. Not being able to have enough um, research breakthroughs. I know a couple uh, more viewers mentioned that they like the edginess of the hunter. I think he's personally by far the most annoying of the three. Not from his skill set, but just the smack talking. Unbearable. If you could back it up with uh, some good game, I could, uh, I could somewhat overlook that. But boy. All right, we haven't heard any movement really. No sound cues, nothing. Nothing. I'm pretty sure there is a pack in here. Would be very surprised if that wouldn't be the case. It would be cool if we could actually Bladestorm start it. Might be a tower here. Potentially one over here, here-ish. Might even be a pack down there. Okay, well, hmm. Not great. If you say so. Whatever you say. I don't like the breach here. But there is only so much you can do. But I don't think that uh, the right hand side where that other pack was coming from is actually the one uh, that's the right direction. Although there is a door here I shouldn't be too judgmental about it double checking really quickly hmm we had a Reaper that would be fantastic fortunately we don't which means I need to resort back to these stupid strategies of mouse overing. Teaches you just how much you're relying on Reapers for scouting. Well, and for banish. Might as well trigger something. All right, I'm surprised. No towers, nothing. But that will give us a fabulous position up here. Okay, 
Okay, that's uh, brace. It's interesting that we that there hasn't been a single pack here. There is the ascension chamber, so gotta go that way and then to the left. Ugh. Hunter killer. And a lot of chrysalid hunters. Well, well, well. If this isn't a perfect time for another grenade. I mean, if you can hit six people with one action and you can even take a shot afterwards, it's hard to not do that. Right? Right. I'll just leave her open for a potential uh, Mimic Beacon, you never know. What are we dealing with? 7 to 8? Okay, okay, okay. Good, so, time for Reaper. And to just go through all of them. There you go, good boy. Oh yeah, Hawkbite's killing it. Hawkbite is absolutely murdering it. I like it. Potentially a few more packs to go through and then we should be okay. That's typically around four packs. And We've yeah. Got Advent here. It's times like these I regret losing my humanity. The fear you are experiencing now must be so exhilarating. I almost wish we could switch places. Almost. Or watch. I don't know why they haven't uh, spotted us. It's one of those rare occasions where you sort of can see uh, someone, but then not fully. So let's just overwatch. Uh, they can't come uh, close enough. Nice, good, uh, good job. We need more shredding, by the way. Yeah, that's the problem without shredding. Uh, Sheep Baron needs shredding as well, so can't really not to do that. Um, but we do have enough ammunition, and I think, well, hmm, shall we teamwork? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. Like I said, I wanted.
as much of our uh, as much of our uh, consumables untouched. Precision shot is the very opposite of what I need. I need more damage. How many targets can we? Yeah, we can hit more targets. Okay, cool. Well, it is what it is. Let's continue here. More shredding. Taurus overwatches, just in case we need to retaliate, and the shield bearer needs shredding, successfully so. Okay, can theoretically hit two targets. Um, yeah, let's take out the mech. Bearer heavily injured. Ah, I can't reach the codex, that sucks. Could almost run and gun in. Hit the purifier, which is a tiny bit too slow. Could give Hawkbite another action. Do we want that now is the question. Hmm, good question. I mean, with an extra action, we could open the rest, but is it a dangerous pack? Not really. Let's try to hit that trooper first. Wow, good job. Wrong plan. Good effing job. Down to three hit points. Love it. Um. You know, we could position here, take a shot, then move back. not perfect but it is okay so now question of the day is what are our chances 100% against this guy and pretty de decent against that guy as well kill this one um, Namri up here would be able to likely kill that one and Hawkbite could just parry Codex will do bo uh, the bomb Purifier will uh, hook by this immune against him. Yeah, I think there's a good chance that even if we're missing this shot, that we're not going to take damage. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Okay, there could be a grenade possibility of the purifier. Come on. 
Oh yeah, quadruple weapon disable, that's nasty. Yeah, now the, uh, the grenade might be the only problem. Not even that. Untouchable and parried. Easy peasy. Four to six, that could be a kill. Well, that's a chance. <laughs> of course. Team working over. It's fine, we still got another teamwork. Good, we're moving out. Ready to rock. Reload, move out. Could have moved and taken the shotgun actually. Free reload here. Free reload here. What's over there? Taurus, and that's the power of the autoloader, right? Your not losing momentum when it really counts. Sure thing. Decent chance for a kill. Okay, of course not, which means. Um, hmm. lightning hands is not fast enough. And definitely not strong enough to kill, uh, to fully kill him. Hogbite on the other hand just moves here. Immune to the shenanigans and uh, Bladestorm gives us another free attack. Yeah, well, already told you, it's not going to work, Purifier. Whether or not you're an elite Purifier, there's no meaning for Hogbite. You're as good as that when he arrives. Okay, now is a good time for reloads. I preach that as well often to make sure to check the uh, um, ammo count. Of course, not if you do have auto loaders. In that case, doesn't matter. But for the rest, it very much matters. Memory moves up. Moving a bit closer to here. Brace is the name of the game. I'll lead the way. All right, there's still one more pack potentially at uh, the Ascension Chamber. If I was to take a bet, and that's where I would hide if I would be them.
Okay. So far, reasonable amount of consumables used, but not too much. Like we have um, two inspirations. Not even taken damage. Still got uh, all of our all of our med kits, which will be important for a bit later. So it's good. We're we're doing fine. I have no idea how difficult the actual fight is going to be, so I'm rather careful and a bit over prepared. Ooh. Vivern and vipers and sector soldiers and gatling sergeants okay well that sucks good lyrical is in a decent position nothing too fancy Absolutely. i think we're going to do what we're what we've done a couple of times beforehand which is blasting the living hell out of them oh yeah well guess what the reaper is coming that looks like a fresh triplet <laughs> oh yeah. Directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Thanks, Tigan. Looks like we found our way out of here. Six to seven. Good, we're cleaning up and that cleanup with reaper is godsend for the type of campaign that we're playing oh yeah it is godsend for the uh, type of campaign that we're playing simply because we are lacking damage overall and one way of like going uh, going around that is if you find uh, a possibility to weaken enough enemies uh, such as bringing them into a zone where Reaper death from above or whatever can kill them that is in well, that's the only way around uh, the uh, the problem of not having enough firepower to alpha strike them of course in a perfect world we would uh, mm, we would have enough power to just go through them uh, keep dancing with one another uh, sunshine and roses would happen and the unicorn would ride over the rainbow but that's not how this campaign is going to play out and here we gotta abuse every single mechanic of the game in order to even yeah get get to the end game let alone i don't think that this is winnable but that's a different story i think the hive at some point will just take over the only option the only saving graces and maybe i should put more faith in our sappers the only saving grace in that regard is uh, chrysalids tend to like charge in as a pack and don't spread around uh, too much so if we tackle larger hordes of chrysalids later i think that a well-placed grenade can actually hit six seven eight uh, targets so that'll be good ascension gate and here we go All right, lend it. And this is going to be fun. Still got a couple of enemies as always on the left hand side. But I think we're going to be good.
Um, well, let's see if we can advance without triggering them. Well, the answer is, of course, a no, my friend. Prime soldier, eh? Now let's try to shred him or fail miserably, of course. Lyrical moves up. Wrong planet moves up. Nice little option to finish one of them. <laughs> that guy made a backflip. It's a bit over the top. Uh, that is not how the impact of our ballistic weapon would look like. We're kind of tickling them a little bit. Oh, I forgot it's a prime. Well, apparently some bullshit arena happens behind the scene here. Hogbite has been marked. Yep, I get it. Can we please continue? Wow. See, that's what I don't like about ABA. It still has a couple of dysfunctionalities. I ran into those problems a few times. All right, trying to restart that. Good, back in action, same situation, just reloaded the game and voila, it works. If you say so. Complete shocker, I know. This is hopefully not triggering the stupid hunter. His inhuman reflexes did him no good. Oh no. Good. Hogbird waits here. I think we haven't really used anything. Now the real kicker will be to get everybody upstairs. Memory on the move and our medic. Go, go, go. I'll keep a watchful eye. Oh, really? You're not supposed to be here. You Interesting. All right. That is true, Bradford, that is true. There's only one uh, side leaving. Blast shield immune to uh, explosions, can summon max, uh, gets health when others take damage. Easier to hit from high ground, which is why we are where we are. And Templars are his kryptonite. Boy, oh boy, we have some nice little kryptonite for him. Okay, well, well, well. I have to shred him, which means Sukugor needs to move up. Good. Um. Let's continue here, shall we? 
I mean, we could give uh, Lurikil another turn, I suppose. Don't want to kill him in one go. Lyrical could move up, shoot, and breaching maneuver out. Which is pretty damn good. I like the idea. I'm going to use an axe. That's a good non flankable position. Or more difficult to flank, shall I say. Okay, a little trick here, it's immune to explosions, but can still be shredded. Move up here and actually overwatch. Continuing to hammer home. Uh, the weapon specialist for wrong planet really starts to work out, and the ready for anything is also good. Really good, actually. We're immune to explosions, so no problemo here. Good hit, very good hit. And we're parrying. Explosion, Soul Stealer. Psst. Did he hit us? Yeah, and we're bleeding. Not good. All right, adrenaline rush, med kit. Very good. Tell you what, uh, this here would almost end him. Uh, moving us up to the spawn platform because we're going to see spawns very soon. Lyrical moves up. Uh, throwing X doesn't deal enough damage. Four to six. Hmm. Mm. We can't hit the sarcophagus from here, so might as well try to hit him. Didn't work, okay. Well, okay, it is what it is. Good hit. Down for the first time now. The name of the game immediately becomes how much damage can we deal uh, to the sarcophagus, right? The device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the Chosen, restoring them. No wonder these things don't die. I think I'm actually okay with where we are. Hand over. Um, free throw with our axe. 
Nice. Good job. Dual shot. Okay, very good, very good. Um, we could shoot now, reload next turn and shoot again. I think that's the right call. Trying to maximize the damage. So Cougar hits and hits again. Um, memory could give Hogbite an action, not needed now. But next turn, maybe. We're actually making relatively good progress on the sarcophagus. Better than I would have expected. And I was lucky. Spawn happened here. Nice little hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, triplet. Fantastic. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Wait, what? Yeah, a little bit more difficult. Um, normally, only one pack spawns. And also, normally we're not fighting like multiples per pack. On the on the flip side, though, we have just issued six bonus attacks, which is actually not too bad. You can say whatever you want, but that was a good turn. Could we get through that shield bearer? I like the idea of actually shredding him once. Let's try that. Okay, that makes it way more enjoyable. Look, listen, core idea is Hogbite will try to keep the enemies busy. Seven to eight, seven would be a kill. For starters, we need Reaper. So that's a for sure kill. Let's start with that. And potentially hits his friend as well. Nope. But we killed that guy. Uh, better than I would have expected. Didn't get everything, but it was okay. Um, setting the infector up. Down to six hit points, which is just enough. Make him pay. Good. That problem is solved. Um, I 
Moving on to the shield bearer. There we go. Good hit. And that Archon, I do have an idea how we deal with him. Starts with a nice little love tap. Unfortunately, not a great hit. I want to make sure that we're safe and sound, which means this guy gets into leather range and Hogbite's Bladestorm will kill him. Good, yeah, we're not going to get the sarcophagus down not this time but as a positive I, I guess be okay. we have managed to deal with all of uh, the stupid aliens Fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, unfortunately we can't really do much with uh, Zukuger's position. Uh, Sky has positioned himself in quite literally the only spot where Well, we can't really do much about it. First the reload, and then it's a question of do we want to suppress him? Or do we actually want to shred him? I think we're going for shredding. Free reload. Um, I think I want to suppress him with an Emery. Can't kill him in one go. Might as well suppress him. Alright. That's a good hit. Good time for run and gun. And even a better time for a nice little breaching maneuver afterwards. Take a shot here. Wonder if Overwatch is the better option. He could theoretically summon uh, a couple of robots, and we have multiple Overwatch strikes. Good. We're uh, having maximum focus, which is good. Hogbite is ready to rumble. And I was right, he maglords 
Which means my idea of uh, actually using Overwatch wasn't bad at all. Hmm. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Very good. Superior agility. Oh, that is fantastic. That's an awesome find. Might as well reload. Continue to shred him, which is good. Listen, um... Moving to here. Adrenaline rush into healing. Just trying to stay alive. And this guy has too much armor. Yeah, I need to focus on the hunter. Lyrical takes the high ground. Won't be able to get that mech down immediately, but Deal a good amount of damage. And I think what we're going to do is we're actually suppressing it because that means it can't use its stupid micro missiles, which is what I'm afraid of. Okay, we now need to kill these sarcophagus. Reloading again. And thanks to blue screen rounds, that one was tough. Okay, we're almost there. Ah, minimum damage. Wrong timing for that. Namri tries to hit it. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. Uh, and our weapon doesn't really deal that much damage. Uh, let's hope for spawns here. Okay, 
time for the Mimic Beacon next turn. Of course, quadruple uh, Athens. These chambers are definitely way more difficult than they used to. With all of the increased pot sizes, them just coming in. Maybe it's also just our weapons. Typically, you're not engaging these types of fights with conventional weapons, right? That's a bit... That would be a bit uh, stupid, some people would say. Others would say it would be reckless. Reload. And that's important. I'm not sure if it is a good thing. Let's wait for it. We do not have Reaper yet. But we can deal with those three uh, chrysalids. Sort of. In the meantime... Let's try to clean the other side, shall we? Mimic Beacon is a must. That officer is a problem. But we need to make sure that we're taking enemies off uh, the field. Of course, a shudder. That changes things. Prepping this guy for next turn because we need to get through him. Deployment with a Mimic Beacon is immediate. That's good. That's helpful. I'm going. Moving over here. Let's prep the Hunter. The Shoggoth uh, sucks as well, but I mean, boy, what are we going to do? here preparing the shield bearer because that's a problem Hit the armor. all right and now the grand plan a uh, grand plan which is deal some damage And just overall be in the way. Parry means uh, Bladestorm, kill the adjacent one. Uh, the hunter downstairs uh, will trigger parry and then 
one of the chrysalids will come uh, through. Luckily the hunter killer went first, has more d uh, damage. And there's the parry. Oh, that hunter went for the mimic beacon, cool. Well, hope it doesn't even take damage then. All right. Well, maybe he can take damage depending on what the Shoggoth does. It's the first time that one of them actually roams free. If he has the AOE attack of the faceless one, then that sucks. Thank you, buddy armor. Can't really deal with the chosen at the moment. Good, chrysalid hunter is a prime target. Shield bearer. Not because he hasn't used the shield, but officer definitely and Shogoth. These are the ones that I would like to take out. So we have zone suppression, which also would be interesting. We could position ourselves better that actually would be a fantastic option we have grazing shots against them so i wonder and we're just going for that not only are they suppressed they should now take grazing shots i skilled that didn't i yeah and that creates shredding and that's what i wanted in the first place so essentially a bit more efficient shredding And they are disoriented, which for the Chrysalid Hunter is fantastic. It's exactly what you want. Super strong. That is great. Oh yeah. Moves into full cover. And dealt extra damage because he was uh, disoriented. Now I can see a combination in the future. Uh, you basically disorient uh, plus uh, mm, uh, plus then use breach and maul. That's a cool combo. I like that concept. Oh, you have, still have the Shogath problem up here. Not unsolvable, but definitely a problem. Sixteen hit points to armor. Isn't that good? Can we stun him? Eighty-two percent is not bad. And let me see. What, what's over there? We can crowd control him this turn. That actually wouldn't be bad. Cool. One less problem to deal with. Uh, that would be a kill and potentially an overwatch Did you see that one? So no we're even refunded one action easy okay cool 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 very good memory moves over sets up the chrysalid hunter Good, and that might actually be a kill if we roll max damage. Not quite, but it's down to one hit points. Right 
And this here just will become a one-on-one -on -one for now. Nice disorientation on top of it. It has acid blood, but I think we're immune to acid, so we should be good. Good. Well, we still have the Shoggoth, and that needs to be dealt with. But overall, it's looking much better than before. Granted, we have uh, left uh, the Chosen completely unchecked for now. Oh, wow. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, okay, well. That gives me an action back. In the meantime, Lyrical here. Uh, we don't have run and gun. But this here is a super good position to hit him. Can we somehow apply a Matic to Lyrical and still be useful? Could move up, shoot, move to here, but the Shoggoth is still the problem. Double hit. Good. Very good indeed. Hitting the Shoggoth. And going for Overwatch, which is good. I like it. Uh, Nemory takes cover over here. like to play this one aggressive all right adrenaline rush into healing I want to Provide him with more temporary hit points. Can't really kill that Shoggoth, that's the problem. And I don't want to be hit either. So what we're going to do here is this. Standing in the open, offering Hogbite as a good target. And the Shoggoth will die via Blade Storm, and we're parrying just in case things need parrying. Good. Hit Shock uh, Hogbite, please. Everybody else is in cover, sort of. Well. Oh yeah, let's move in. Hogbite is not going to take any of his shit. The, this will end here and now. Ready. 
Okay, a bit unconventional to use lyrical. Into run and gun, into heal, just to stop the bleeding and get wrong planet back in action. Into a shotgun shot. I think we're going to suppress him. We can't kill him. Moon up. Uh, still not enough damage, but I think we might be able to actually get him. If it wouldn't always be minimum damage. I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. There we go. There we go, boys. We did it. Tough fight. Went through almost all of our map kits. As I predicted, that uh, this year would be a bit rougher. It wasn't easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. And I, the, the last chamber alone, like uh, two at the beginning, six and six and two, that's, that's 15, 16 uh, relatively high profile enemies. No, no, I was wrong. There were two packs with even four in them. So the last room was like 20 odd uh, enemies, three times him. That's a tough cookie. Okay, so let's see. Hogbite correctly got the promotion to Colonel. Even got Quick Draw, which together with Lightning Hands is fantastic. Sustenance would have been cool as well, but I suppose we just can't let him die. Uh, so, Iconic Storm, great. Ghost, even greater. In my book, at least. Quick draw for 25 is maybe a bit steep. But Amplified for 10 is right up our alleyway. 32 dodge, holy, that is good. Alright, listen, I unfortunately need to cut this short uh, today. Uh, we are going to wrap this up here and continue the next time. I think it was overall a absolute marvelous uh, mission. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, got a bond upgrade out of it, got uh, the first uh, chosen finally down. That in itself is good, uh, gets morale up. I will not use the null, uh, the Dark Lands because uh, that would be considered definitely a weapon upgrade, so no such luck. Um, but we have one less chosen to deal with. Thanks for watching and uh, try to uh, do better than the Hunter. Uh, use your marksmanship to snipe the like button and let me know if you hit it. Take care and bye bye.